All right, let's try to see how we can solve this short problem over here. We first need to remember what the standard matrix A is defined for a linear transformation. That's the images of the vectors of the canonical basis. So in our textbook, what we need to find over here is these vectors T, E1, and T, E2, where these E1, E2 vectors are so-called the vectors of the canonical basis, 1, 0, and E2 over here is 0, 1. Of course, it depends on how many, what is the dimension that this T is applied on. So we have over here just x1, x2, two components. So we only have 1, 0, and 0, 1. If we have more components over here, we should have longer column vectors over here. So matrix A over here is simply column vectors we obtain from these E1 and E2. So that's matrix. Um, sometimes we it's use brackets instead, so let's try to use the books notation over here. Um, so let's erase this one over here. So that's going to be the matrix of these two vectors. Now how can we find E1 and E2? Well, E1, we have x1 over here, E1. For E1, we have 1, 0, right? So um, x1 over here, that means is 1, and x2 is simply 0. So we have T E1 is simply over here. That's so 2 times x1 is 1 minus x2 is 0. So this is first one is 2. And then from here, x2 is going to be 0. Okay. And then x1 is again 1 and minus 3x2. So that's what we have. Or we use the vector form over here. That's going to be 2, 0, 1. And that's what we have. Okay. And do the same thing for the second vector, E2. E2, that means this is 0 and this is 1. So x, so E2 over here we have this one over here, 0, 1. And x1 over here is 0 and x2 is 1. So we continue from over here. That means that this is 0 minus 1. So we have negative 1. And over here is 1. And over here, x1 is 0, so we have negative 3. All right, and then, of course, we rewrite this one in the vector form. It's negative 1, 1, and negative 3. Okay. So now we have the standard matrix A. Just put this 2 over here. This is 2, 0, 1, and negative 1, 1, and negative 3. In fact, we can found we can find these numbers right over here. Say so two, zero, and one. And second factor negative one, one, and negative three. And also we see this transformation T over here is a tra linear transformation from R two to R three because we have three rows and two columns.